Hello everybody, this is the Lone Panzer and I bring you some battle from what's underground sources. So here you see in front of me is the IS-3 or the ISF Stalin 3. Now with the recent update, you can just click over here and you will find some basic uh, information about this tank, the battle rating, its rank and the rewards etc. So as you see it is a 5th ranked vehicle, uh, actually the first one that I have unlocked, uh, first 5th uh, ranked vehicle in my uh, uh, amongst the amongst all the other uh, branches uh, sorry the countries that i have so its mass is 48 tons and the engine power is 520 hp at 2200 rpm uh, so it gives it a very good speed of about 40 kilometers per hour this uh, it achieves uh, normally in uh, asphalt uh, grounds and that is normal uh, paved roads and uh, its tire rotation speed is 10.2 degrees per second, which is, I guess, a lot higher than, uh, no, actually, it's slower than the IS-2 modified 1944, which has 14 degrees per second of current rotation speed. Now, the uh, difference in the IS-3 uh, and its previous, uh, its predecessor, the IS-2 modified 1944, is, apart from the battle rating and rank, we will find that uh, its mass is 46 tons compared to 48 tons that gives it a slightly higher speed of about 4 km per hour extra and uh, the vertical uh, guidance of this uh, gun I guess is minus 3 degrees to 20 degrees that is 20 degrees um, inclination to minus 3 degrees uh, declination and for the IS-3 it's the same so the inclination doesn't change but the, the hull armor for the IS-2 modified is 120 somehow actually more than the IS-3 but the IS-3 turret uh, armor is super massive the IS-2 as you can see is 100 millimeters uh, all around but the, while the IS-3 is 250 millimeters 220 and 140 millimeters in the rear so its armor penetration capabilities for normal rounds with uh, this round what is this round yeah with the ammo piercing high explosive, high, sorry, high explosive is uh, 196 millimeters, 179 and 158. It, uh, it uh, 196 is I think uh, over the range I guess. You can see it from here. Uh, uh, yeah. So it ranges of 100 meters. It has 196 millimeters of penetration, and uh, at uh, one kilometers it is 150 millimeter and it's 2000 it is 125 millimeter but for a fire at 2000 uh, for a range of two kilometers you have to uh, uh, make your gun inclination to the most of the uh, most to a very high uh, angle because uh, if you see here uh, the uh, muzzle velocity is 795 meters per second and it's also very heavy shell so it's uh, pull uh, due to gravity is much higher uh, when compared to uh, sniping tanks like Tigers and uh, Speed, its uh, successors and uh, other other tanks normally uh, like the Panther or uh, even, even even American tanks have uh, higher uh, muzzle velocities. Some of the guns do have. So the IS-3, as you see, its turret is very well rounded. Actually, it has to be because uh, if you see the X-ray, you will see that its turret, rear turret is mounted with ammunition. Uh, if this turret is not strong enough, I mean, see the turret is actually not that strong, but it's very well sloped. So most uh, uh, most of the times you will be able to uh, just bounce shots. But uh, the normal tactics to get an IS shift frontally is to shoot uh, is to shoot here. And the this this is pretty uh, when you're shooting it from angle, it's pretty flat, and it will actually the shells will go directly through and uh, kill all the enemies. Uh, Kill all, sorry, kill all the crews if not uh, disabling ta uh, the tank if not uh, killing it and it has uh, small tracks mounted over here and uh, it gives an extra thickness and some extra armor protection even IS-4 probably has something like this now you can also shoot here but it is very tough to shoot in here from a normal angle because uh, the distance between the this, uh, gun uh, mantlet and this is pretty low uh, and you have to be very accurate while shooting this part and if you go to the X-ray, then you can see that it is lined with ammunition everywhere. There is a, the commander is sitting over here. You have the loader, the gunner, and the driver. And you have a fuel tank, so you have a sh a shot through this with a high explosive or armor piercing high explosive ballistic cap or around like that. Uh, it is uh, it will most uh, surely light the tank on fire. 
although self generation mechanics have changed uh, in the last uh, battle uh, sorry in the last update and the version you have seen has uh, actually they have changed the version back to 1.49.8.70 after the near uh, recent updates so uh, we'll see some battles in the is3 my is3 is not at all up uh, upgraded you see i have i got the this bought the parts and then after getting this i'll be able to get the fp now uh, it's okay if, if even if you do not get the fp it can go it can go well with the trap parts just uh, try to make sure your rear and uh, your sides are kind of clear uh, frontally you can bounce most shots uh, most people would actually bounce shots of your turret or sometimes even the even the hull but uh, Try to angle your uh, armor in such a manner so that you don't give up this. Uh, let me just zoom it. See this small uh, triangular uh, armor over here, triangular part of the steel. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the red steel or whatever. Just make sure you don't give them the chance to hit you here because if you switch to armor mode, this is the, the position for through which the shells actually go through. These parts are very strong, over 220 millimeters uh, thick armor. This has about 250 millimeters. This gun man, uh, hull, gun mantleted here is extremely strong. Uh, thick armor actually. It has got 12.7 uh, millimeter dish, I think DSHK, whatever they pronounce. I am not good at pronouncing Russian uh, terms. Uh, DSHK, I guess, it's a 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Yeah, it has got 300 uh, ammunition and this gun has 20 millimeter of ammunition so just uh, let's take take this tank out in a battle and see how it performs so here we are in berlin we are starting on the west side of the map i guess and then uh, my uh, squad mate is on an m41a1 walker bulldog so Let's see how we can perform. I don't have an extra backup vehicle for this thing. I forgot to mount it. There is another ISQ over here. We will be facing mounts and other uh, tanks, I guess. Yeah, we have mounts. We have VX Tiger. We have even have uh, the IS4N. So we have pretty big uh, players in this map. And as you can see, after this new upgrade, you cannot shoot uh, if somebody, someone of you, any one of you has that urge of shooting somebody. You cannot shoot because this uh, X. Uh, blue X that you can see has come over uh, and, you, uh, and you cannot fire your button. Uh, the shells can still ricochet off and I have been tinkered uh, by people who have been bypassing such uh, uh, bypassing this uh, mechanism that has been implemented by War Thunder thanks to Gaijin. I think uh, other games like World of Tanks should implement uh, such uh, go here. I am having some frame drops. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, grass and everything is on, although it doesn't matter in this map because Berlin is more like a arid type of map after it has been destroyed from allied bombing. Plus this is arcade battle, so kind of easy for uh, actually seasoned players that play normally realistic battles and uh, simulator very few realistic too. Oh, I 4M killed my squad mate. I'll try to see what I can do here. Hopefully, uh, get some shots into certain tanks actually come by, and uh, you can actually get uh, shots into tanks. Okay, that guy just uh, killed the uh, M102. It's not uh, easy to uh, not die, it's pretty easy to die. Thank you, speaking. We have a uh, Yak Tiger about only 300 meters away from my location. Okay, we just. Oh shit, should have, should have aimed. Should have aimed and. Oh no. Shoot, then you know. I have no idea why he's not shooting. Me. 
Holy shit, I just bounced the short on this. Anyways, I am, I am, I am alive now because of that friend of mine who is shooting him and working the studies. Um, where to shoot this guy? I really have to thank you, man. Yeah. You know, I'll uh, I would have uploaded a battle. I mean, my replays aren't all available here, but if I would have been able, I would have shown you a battle in which I killed an IL for him directly with a frontal shot. Guess I got lucky with my Panther A. But in this situation, no, I failed to do so. But you see the power of this turret, I and mean, it bounced the shot like a pro. So there was a Yag Tiger over here, one. Probably gone, right? Oh, 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 Wow. Shit. Oh, mouse is dead. Good shot. Nice bombing gun. When I am planning only of going off in an aircraft. Oh, there is another mouse. And there is this ice for him over here. Let's just try to hang this guy, I guess. And is bouncing shots off like a boss. Okay. Okay. No bombs, no so bombs really thanks. Oh. That guy really held up. I should have done something but this ammunition out there. I cannot frontally connect this thing. Impossible to do so. You will probably kill me right now. Oh! So the back tag I will kill me. Somebody will do it. Okay. 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 Yeah, exactly. Anyways, we are kind of winning. So let's see where the shot went. The shot hit my... Okay, destroyed all the... So it kind of deflected from its uh, shooting point. It, 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 it hit the upper part of the turret. 
and then it uh, bounced off and uh, uh, the splintering, uh, sorry, the spalling killed me, I guess. Probably, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I, I am probably wrong. But I'll just wait here and um, wait here and take a plane out, I guess. I like planes. I like planes, but they sometimes do get the very impossible to control. Especially spawn bombing should be severely banned. I think the person thinks that spawn bombing destroys the chance so that people. This, 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 this ice cream, everybody loves it. I mean, this is one of the best uh, <clears throat> heavy tanks I have played in my life after the Tiger 2 and uh, Till now. So hands down, this tank is awesome. In side shots, just aim and fire, especially in reality battles. Uh, measure for the uh, shell uh, drop and all. And then you fire, man. So 100%. See you over here, I see no damn here. No, I see no, I have fired, he will come and I will die. Nothing I can do. Yeah, there you come, baby. Hmm. Awesome, awesome shit. Anyways, I'm planning to give this guy a, a nice shot in the ass, you know? Oh, ice is dead. So air battle will... Oh, there is no need to start the air battle, we already won. Anyways, guys, you have seen the battle. Uh, ice 3 is pretty good at bouncing shots, but in this type of situations, it's better that you uh, take the all rank 5 uh, vehicles rather than taking only certain rank 5 vehicles like I did because the problem is if you get into rank 5 vehicles with rank 4 ones you most likely you won't do much damage so you saw the battle uh, in there will uh, I'll probably take out this IS-3 in, in a realistic battle maybe and but we'll see that in the next battle I also uh, do some of this uh, the American gun motor carriage uh, that is an American tank destroyers in the next video and uh, yeah I suffered from uh, and I keep suffering it's very humid here in, in this part of India in Eastern, Eastern India it's West Bengal actually uh, the, the humid is like uh, 90, 90, 95, nearly 92% and it's sweltering really, really here. Uh, mornings is so hot; it's impossible to uh, do these videos. I mean, uh, it, it's it's becoming risky. It's like 40 degrees Celsius plus that humid. Just think of the concoction; it's, it's deadly. And uh, you can't just run a system. Uh, and we don't have AC because I mean, even like two years back, it was it wasn't that humid. The weather is changing like anything. Anyways, guys, uh, well, I had some insect infestations also. My right shoulder is currently inflammated. Inflammation I have here, very bad sort of inflammation. I can barely sleep at night. In this heat, what else can you expect? Uh, anyways, but I'll still try to be on schedule. You know, last video was about five days back. I told, talked about punctuality there, which obviously cannot in this situation but thanks to all those um, very few views that i get or at least the subscribers i have thanks to all of them and thanks to all the other youtubers who have been uh, uh, propagating my channel views i guess to those viewers who watch their videos who are coming back and, uh, to watch on mine uh, but there are some news i want to give like uh, by the middle of this next month that is middle of june I'll be getting my Xbox 360 controller for the PC, Microsoft, as well as I'll get a Wacom, uh, 
those touch pads so that I can do some uh, uh, software uh, uh, reviews, uh, videos like uh, Illustrator designs, AutoCAD designs. I really love doing designs, Blender designs. I'll make a different channel for that. But um, I'll get these things and I can uh, I can start uh, playing uh, realistic battles. So I played uh, using these controllers in Ilkis Chamovic and I mean 46, but I haven't tried them with this uh, uh, with with what underground forces plus. After all, what my ground forces maps are uh, like designed for air battle sort of. They look very beautiful when you uh, when you see them from the air. So scenic. Obviously, they look beautiful on the ground, of, uh, but kind of. I think uh, I think uh, what Thunder should uh, take out, uh, bring out some more uh, battles, uh, some more battles, battle, some more uh, maps to make set. I mean, Berlin, Hurricane Forest, and Normandy. They sometimes. Uh, like keep coming and coming and coming in the in like uh, two three five sometimes even like 10 15 times they keep repeating there should be like more more uh, battles uh, more maps more maps of uh, Berlin type more maps like uh, Stalingrad I guess uh, Stalingrad or uh, you know uh, uh, certain other battlefields like uh, I guess uh, Villa, uh, Villa's bouquet or Villa, Villiers bouquet or whichever way, bocage, whichever way you uh, uh, pronounce this. I'm very sorry to the French people. Uh, I am I am not much good with French, not at all. I barely know a few terms. Both pronouns if you play is probably what is your name, something like that. Alan Land is from my father, also. I, uh, I don't I don't want to hurt anybody's uh, feelings. And uh, there are some good battlefields. There were some good battlefields. Uh, they sh they can uh, you know, do the make up these uh, design these maps based on this. Uh, Normandy is so successful. Uh, Berlin is is good. Just now you saw me playing that. So guys, uh, like that will be all for today's video. I, I kind of <laughs> talk too much. Okay, so um. I will uh, do one of those M18 Hellcat videos. I'll probably get some uh, backups and all. Okay, so we can, uh, I can show you something and uh, some proper nice gameplay on this. So that will be all for today. Subscribe to my channel. Links are uh, below. Uh, under, see the descriptions. Also, links will be given at the beginning of the video. Also, you can just go to the links and uh, subscribe to my Facebook and uh, Twitter. Twitter will be best because I upload every time I go to the Put videos in YouTube will get instant. Um, so, what, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, instant uh, <coughs> uh, warning will be given, or like sort of uh, message will be sent to you that uh, new video has been uploaded. We know the rules, everything, okay, the notifications and all. So, yeah, that's all for today, and uh, see you guys next time on the Martin Hellcat.